I had no intention of becoming a production designer. I intend to be, a, to, to be an academic. But I was working in New York for a photographer, and a friend of mine said, would you come down and take some pictures? And I said, sure. And I went down, and I'm looking around, and I see this woman fiddling with something in the, in the corner over there. And I said, what is she doing? I said, they said, she's a production designer. I said, what is that? And it was like a lightning bolt. When they described the job, because I'd studied architecture, I was a good photographer, somehow I thought, this is the job for me. So I hounded Michael Hausman for about six months, and then he gave me a job. And I had absolutely no skills whatsoever, but uh, I learned fast. And a production designer has a lot of production things that they have to do. You have to sort things out with the money. With, there is so much more than just designing. I feel that the design part is almost, for me, the simple part. It's follow through. Everything is follow through. It's all very good to have a great building and a great idea. But if you can't get it in front of the camera the way you want it, then you're wasting your time. Well, on my first experience, I was the designer and the costume designer and the makeup lady. I don't know. I mean, it's changed dramatically, I think, in the last few years because of the, the uh, visual effects and computer-generated effects and the fact that you don't always know what the final, the final look of the film will be when you're done. And that, to me, I think is, is the, most, uh, the most difficult thing for me to deal with because I know what my work looks like, but I won't know what the, the added work will look like. And I find that's... Um, that's a confusing thing for me.